Hi, Michaela and Will. Um, this is the front of the Beethoven model. As you can see, there's a couple different designs and colors on the front of these buildings. Uh, that's called the elevation and then the color scheme, which is dictated by the home site. Um, I'll send you over, once we narrow down a home site, I will send you over the specific elevation and color for that home site. Um, and I'm gonna have my partner Noel, or uh, Shiloh here video me going through the home and talking to you about what's an upgrade and what you could do. Okay. All right, so as you enter into the Beethoven, uh, this first floor, we have a rec room. Um, so this wall of the rec room, it doesn't show it here, but there's an option you'll see on the upgrade sheet that's $500 that you could put French doors to make this a separate study, that's 500. There's also an option here where you can, it's a, it's a closet, but you can pay 4,000 and make that a half bath if you wanted a half bath on this first floor. This is just your uh, furnace and hot water heater. And then this um, is the one car garage. So obviously it looks a little different uh, being decorated in our model, but that would be a one car unfinished garage. And then this space is cool. You'll see this on the floor plan. This is actually just uh, some fin unfinished storage space. It actually does have heating and air and a light. So this is a room that a lot of our buyers do convert over maybe into a home office. Uh, I've mean, actually heard people say it as another bedroom. Um, but it's just got some bonus space that's not included in the square footage. So upgrades you could do on this floor that we don't show. The French doors here, the bathroom there. One upgrade that we do show is they have added four LED lights into the rec room. LED lights come standard everywhere in the home except the bedrooms, the living room, and the rec room. We give three free ceiling fan rough ends. You can add as many LED lights as you want. So moving up to the second floor. I just, you could if I talk? Yeah, sure. All right, so coming up to the second floor, we've got just that open floor plan with the kitchen, dining room, living room. That's one of our project managers, Anderson, there. So say hi, Anderson. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but as I was talking to you about on the phone, we include a lot of great options. So in this, on this floor, we really, we're not showing any upgrades. So you get LVP floors throughout your uh, kitchen and, and dining room, and then carpet in your living room. You got a granite countertop, um, all these GE Energy Star appliances that I talked about. And then you can customize. You can pick the color of your cabinets, your floors, your countertops. And I'll send you another video here shortly that shows you those different options you can pick. Um, but granted is a standard free option, which is nice. You've got a 50-50 split, microwave and freezer come standard. There is an upgraded fridge that you can buy that has a pull-out freezer on the bottom. It's 800 more. That'll be in the upgrade sheet I send to you. But lots of cabinet space, tons of cabinet and counter space, which is really nice. And then you got a little pantry. And then last but not least, you've got a little uh, walkout deck here. So we use uh, a composite material, so you should never have to stain or paint. Um, little nice features that we use in this community. Um, everything is, is designed to be low to no maintenance. So we use hardy plank. Um, if you look up hardy plank, it's the premier siding that you can use on a home. It's actually a, uh, a concrete composite, which is really nice. So it holds up well over time. has a really upgraded look. So you can kind of see as Shiloh pans here how open this floor plan is, which is really nice. One of the upgrades you can do in the living room is you can extend, if you want the hardwood floor, the hardwood surface throughout the living room, I believe it's 3100, it'll be on that upgrade sheet, but that's one upgrade you could do if you wanted. And then we've got a half bath here right off the living room. 
So you got a pedestal sink, a mirror, a commode, um, which is kind of nice to have so everyone doesn't have to go to the third floor necessarily. One uh, included feature that we started about a year ago is these Nest thermostats, which are really cool. You can uh, hook them up to your, your phone um, and control it from your phone, which is really nice. And then we also give you a Wi-Fi enabled garage door opener, which is really nice. Some builders, you know, charge for that, but that's an included feature here. Up to the third floor. So up here, you can come on up Shiloh. We've got um, one upgrade, one main upgrade we show in the master bedroom that you'll see on the floor card and on the pricing sheet is a larger master bath like we show here. So we have this $2,000 upgrade that gives you a larger master bath with a double sink. If you did not choose to have that upgrade, you're basically your uh, closet and your master bath just change places. Where the bathroom is now would be your closet. And then the closet here would be a, uh, your master bath and it would just have one sink. And this is, as, as Shiloh kind of pans the room, this is a king size bed. You can see we have room for end tables on both sides and a dresser. We do include this nice tray ceiling with the crown molding inside. Um, which makes that inside the inside the uh, tray is a 10 foot ceiling. So it really makes the room uh, look big and feel big. And then coming in here, we've got your other full bathroom. Um, so the kids or the guest bathroom in there. It's really nice. It's got a shower tub combo. It's got a linen closet. Um, and then I'm gonna let Shiloh pan and show you these uh, remaining two bedrooms real quick. So we have one staged as a you know, guest bedroom that has a full-size bed in it. Uh, both rooms have you know, pretty big closet space, which is nice. And then the third bedroom we just have staged as a kid's bedroom, um, just to kind of show you there. And then uh, laundry room is right here off the hallway. Again, these are the only appliances we don't include. You can include this in the mortgage. It's 1500 bucks if you want to have the GE washer and dryer. It's nice because it would already be installed for you when you moved in. Um, that concludes our Beethoven tour. Um, so I'm gonna, we're gonna log off of this video and then I'm gonna uh, shoot a video of the different designer packages and then shoot one of the home site and send it over.